Hey there, this is Logan Crockett with Full Circle Music. I am coming to you from our recording studios here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are here today to answer your questions about the music industry. So you guys asked what exactly is the difference between an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So I think the simplest way to get this as clear as possible on the front end is to just show you what each one looks like. Um, so this is an acoustic guitar. And you can see um, it's it's hollow inside. It has room for the sound to actually resonate on the inside of the guitar. Um, sort of similar to like a violin and how the inside of a violin is, is hollow so the sound can resonate. That's what's going on here. So an acoustic guitar all by itself, it can sound really great. Um, if I just play a few notes, then you can it, it, it projects all by itself. It, it projects in a way that um, makes it audible to people who would be listening around you. Now, with an electric guitar like this one, <clears throat> you'll notice that it's a lot quieter, right? And that is because it needs to be plugged in to, to really um, make noise. Now, unlike something like, say, an electric keyboard or an electric piano, if you have an electric piano and you hit a note on it, you're literally gonna hear nothing other than the, the sound of um, you hitting the key, I guess, like, um, percussively. Um, but, but you're not gonna hear a note if you hit an electric piano and, and play and play something. Um, unless it's plugged into speakers or headphones or, uh, or some sort of projection system. Now, an, an, an electric guitar is different than that because an electric guitar really does make sound. I don't know how well you can hear this, but... Um, but those are notes um, coming out of the guitar. It's just they're very, very, very quiet. And so where the acoustic guitar has a hollow um, inside, basically, it's hollow inside, so that way the sound can um, reverberate around and project out, um, and an electric guitar doesn't have that. An electric guitar has what are called pickups, which are these three guys right here. These are pickups. And so basically, a very simple way to think about it is these pickups are listening for the sound that these strings make. And then when you plug it in, when you plug a guitar like this in, which you would do right here, um, if you plug it into a guitar amplifier, um, then this then you would really, really, really hear the, the sounds coming out of here. Um, the other really cool thing about an electric guitar is you can manipulate the sound. So you have um, knobs here that affect things like tone and volume. Um, but also, when it comes to playing an electric guitar, you have the amplifier, which really almost becomes um, so much of, of uh, the tone of the instrument itself, depending on, you could have the exact same electric guitar, but depending on what amplifier you're putting it through and what settings you have that amplifier on, the, an electric guitar could sound totally different. It could sound really clean, um, or it could sound you know, really heavy rock and, and hard and distorted. Um, so, so that's where that's where uh, an, an electric guitar can be a lot of fun. So if you're you know kind of doing more of a simple like campfire thing, um, then an acoustic guitar is great because everyone around you should be able to hear it. An electric an electric guitar is not going to work very well for that. Um, but the other interesting thing about acoustic guitars is that. Acoustic guitars can, quote, be electric too. And that's the case for this one. You can actually see this little electric box on the side. So that means this particular acoustic guitar, not all acoustic guitars, but some acoustic guitars have um, basically a little electronic box like this. Um, and you can plug them in, um, in this case, through through this. Um, and you can, so you could also plug this guy into an amplifier to make this a lot louder if you actually needed a full sound system. Um, that, that you're playing through, for instance. So the, the really great thing about an acoustic guitar is just kind of based on its tone. Um, I mean, if, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could do some weird things to, to really change the sound of an acoustic guitar too, um, through an amplifier, things like that. Um, but, but for the most part, an acoustic guitar is gonna have a really um, warm, full kind of tone, um, which is gonna be really, really good for, quote, leading a song, especially with just kind of a, a rhythmic way with, with chords. Um, so that's why a lot of times um, with, with different bands um, or 
leading worship on Sundays, things like that. Like a lot of times a quote leader of a band or like the front man or the lead singer will, will oftentimes gravitate towards an acoustic guitar uh, versus an electric guitar because an acoustic guitar um, j just does a very good job of being the full body of the sound. Um, and, and that's why, again, kind of going back to the campfire example, it, it'd be totally fine to just have an acoustic guitar and play songs with nothing but an acoustic guitar. I mean, and most of the songs would sound really good. You could technically do the same thing with an electric guitar. Um, but with an electric guitar, there's kind of two ways to play an electric guitar. I was just talking about with the acoustic guitar, you would play a lot of things rhythmically. Um, but with an electric guitar, there's really two ways to play it. You have, quote, rhythm parts and you have lead parts. And the lead parts are what you think of with like really complicated guitar solos. I'm really screaming notes way up here. And, um, and that's where, that, that's where a lot of the uh, skill sets between an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar can be very different. And that's why if someone is a really, um, quote, advanced guitar player, a lot of times that means that they're really, really, really good at um, electric guitar and playing specifically lead parts. And you would almost never play lead parts on an acoustic guitar. Um, so, anyway, so, so that's a lot of the different ways that you would think um, about the differences between an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar and why you would play each differently. Um, ultimately, if, if you want to be a guitar player yourself, um, I would definitely encourage you to 100% um, try out both. Um, I mean, it's really easy if, if you, even if you can't, um, if, if you can't afford to have an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar um, at once immediately. Um, man, just like go hang out at some um, music shops, uh, any guitar center. You can just sit around and, and play stuff um, and, and try out different guitars and, and try them out with different amps and, and see how they sound. Um, but yeah, de definitely knowing knowing the differences is really good because I'm um, just whatever your your purpose is with wanting to learn or play guitar, um, your your instrument choice definitely matters for that. So hopefully this video helps shed shed some light on which option you should go with. All right, thanks for watching. If you learned something, if this video was helpful to you, we really would appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that like button. It's super quick, super easy, super simple, and it does make us more friendly with the YouTube, so that would be awesome. But more importantly, we're actually doing a whole lot more videos just like this one where we are answering the internet's top questions about the music industry. And so if you aren't subscribed to our channel and it sounds like you would love to hear our answers to some other questions, then please subscribe so that way you don't miss those. Also, speaking of questions, if you have any more questions, maybe there was something you weren't sure about regarding this video, or you're wondering about a completely different topic in the music industry, go ahead, go down to that comment section and uh, write your question and let us know what's up and we would be happy to get back to you and answer that, or maybe even make a future video about it. The last thing that I wanna let you know is that at Full Circle Music, our team has created an awesome resource for you, totally free, and it's just a free mini training class that teaches you exactly what to do if you really wanna have a career in the music industry. So if you would like to check out that free class, and again, it's totally for free, um, you can click right over here. And if you click on that button, then you should get immediate access to that class. And that would be really cool. Um, or if you would rather go and check out another video that answers a top question about the music industry, you can do that by clicking right up there.